Now it's time for a short video because it's a short concept. After all the craziness we just went through with respect to inheritance, there are times still when you would like to know when you only have a pointer to your abstract base type, what object that type is pointing to. And well, you could hack together terrible things by basically having like a virtual function that basically says, what am I, and have it return one for one type and two for another. But I have found that using dynamic pointer casts is the proper way to, to pull this off. So let me essentially show you guys what that looks like and how one might use it in a very brief video. And then we'll be done with this. So I have an array of these things from the last video of game objects. And I call update and I call draw on those things. Suppose I'd like to just make note of maybe how many I have, uh, maybe for the sake of like printing out debugging information while the game is running or something. So maybe I'll, I'd like to know that. So maybe I want to have something along the objects of num balls, num planes. I'm going to start these both at zero and I want to count them and I want to use this dynamic pointer cast as a mechanism on how to do it. So when I iterate through the max objects, if I know that, um, the pointer is valid for one of these entries and I know I can call update on it then I know it's at least pointing to some concrete subclass of my game object and this is how you determine how so basically I can do an if statement and I can say dynamic cast this angle bracket syntax which I guess I haven't introduced you guys to yet and I basically say the type that I'm interested in checking to see if it is a class of in this case um, bouncy ball pointer and then the object itself in question. What this does is attempts to cast safely this pointer, which is of type game object, to one of its subclass pointers, which in this case is bouncy ball. And if and only if the result of that is not a null pointer, then the result of this will actually be a pointer to bouncy ball that I can use safely. Another way to explain this is that I could actually declare it like this. If I wanted to actually use the bouncy ball, for example, maybe I wanted to call set elasticity. Well, I can't call that on the base class because it doesn't, it's not among its virtual functions or it, it's not exposed at that level. But if I wanted to call it down here, actually for the sake of clarity in this case, I'm not going to use auto to explain it. If I wanted to declare it here, in this case, if ball is not equal to null, then I know I can use ball safely inside here. I want to conflict with any existing things called ball. In this code, however, I don't actually need to use ball. In this case, I basically can just say, okay, so I can count that. And then I can do it again with another else. So maybe I want to have a pointer to the ball, and I want to have a pointer to the plane. It's the exact same process for trying to dynamically cast it to the plane type. So the idea here is that every object will fit into one of these into one of these if checks to basically see specifically what type the pointer is pointing to. So in this case, there we go. And this would work. The idea here is that if I just tried to manually cast this by doing doing the old-fashioned cast, this would be considered unsafe because I'm just casting it and essentially asserting or assuming that it is of type plane, which you can do if you know that's the case. But the dynamic cast will return null if, if, if the uh, pointer cast doesn't fit. If this really is not a plane, then plane pointer will be null, otherwise it will point to the actual plane pointer type. So this is kind of cool. Um, essentially now that I have these at the end of my for loop I could actually print out number of planes and number of balls and make note of that what that was. Stupid not including of C out.
we have 10 and 10, because I printed out the same variable twice, it should be num planes. Oh, so basically it works. So <clears throat> there really isn't much else I could say about dynamic casting and, and runtime type information, at least not right now. Um, this is essentially extremely useful, though, if you want to make these kind of checks at runtime, in my opinion, the correct way to do it. So once again, the syntax is dynamic cast, angle brackets, the pointer type you're, you're interested in checking to see if your argument is, and then the object in question, a pointer to that. And um, I believe this works with reference parameters as well, for example, if you had ampersands, but don't quote me on that. But um, that's how you do dynamic casts. So like I said, super short video.